Good morning, friends. This is Miss Sabrina from the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science, and I wanted to introduce you to one of our animals that we use for programming um, for schools and such. We also have one of these guys at the museum that you may have seen. If not, you can um, go by and check him out. This is the Gophers polyphemus or gopher tortoise. Um, gopher tortoises are a very unique and special species here in Mississippi. They are actually listed on our endangered species list, which means there's not a whole lot of them left. You can only find these guys in the southeastern part of the United States. Um, they're actually listed federally as endangered species because nowhere are, they very, um, are there very many of them left. As you can see, we're out here on our morning forage, and she is um, hanging out, getting a little sunshine this morning on this beautiful day. Um, let me tell you a little bit about these guys. So if you'll notice right here, she'll let me show you. She has a very unique foot. You see that foot, it's so flat. That foot is actually designed for digging. So we call her a gopher tortoise because she actually digs into the earth. The habitat that gopher tortoise live in is called a longleaf pine forest or a, uh, in sandy soils and such. And that habitat is notorious for burning. Um, wildfires and such as that are normal and natural in that habitat. So in order to survive in her, in her environment, she had to develop an adaptation. And that adaptation is to dig. And so she digs these really long burrows that can be up to 40 feet in length underneath the earth, which protects her from forest fires. Um, now, not only does it protect her, but it also protects her friends, other animals in that environment from that fire also. So she can share that burrow with up to four to 500 different other animals, insects, scorpions, snakes, rabbits, rats, frogs, all these different animals also use that burrow as a, um, a home. So that burrow is so incredibly neat. So it is um, cool in the summer and it's warm in the winter. Um, if you'll notice, there's lots of grass around us right here in, um, on our stroll and that is so she can forage for her food. Gopher tortoises are completely herbivores. So that means that she only eats plants. So she will use her nose and she will bump up against some grasses and plants and then she will smell it to see if it smells like something she wants to eat. And then she will grab it with her mouth. The very front of her mouth is called the beak. And then she will tear that grass and pull it into her mouth with her tongue because gopher tortoises have no teeth. That's actually how they get their water also. They'll get their water from the dew on the ground or from the grass itself because these guys very seldom ever drink water unless it is during the drought season. And that's the only water that they can find. So she is having a wonderful morning this morning. You'll notice her color is very dull. That's to protect her from predators. She blends into that ground and the forest. You notice that she's a very large tortoise and that she has very large feet. Um, she, that is also because of her ground dwelling needs. Now, if you'll notice, she looks a little funny and you may not see that other leg over there and that's because it is missing. Um, she was injured and went to a rehabber and they actually saved her life by amputating that front leg. And that's also why she is um, with us at the museum. She is non-releasable. So in order for her to be with us, that had to be the situation. But now she is a great ambassador and teaches our friends about the gopher tortoises in Mississippi.